Hey everybody, Professor Smith here. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're someplace safe, comfortable for Thanksgiving this year. Uh, I know it's going to be really different. It's going to be uncomfortable and sad for many of us. Um, all I will say is try and remain safe and try and have the best time that you possibly can considering the situation. Just know that hopefully, fingers crossed, by this time next year, we're having a normal Thanksgiving with the people we love and care about most, so let's just try and, and get through this one. Um, so with that, I want to transition into what I really wanted to talk about today, which is the beginning of Project 3 and where we are currently in the semester. Okay, so right now, if you checked your discussion board, I did send out an email yesterday, but as of right now with our discussion boards, I did not ask you to post anything this week. What I've asked you to do is to catch up um, if you have not finished on any of the work that is already due, which at this point is going to be paper two and our journals. So if you haven't finished those, and I know a lot of you have, uh, please do what you can um, with this time this week to get through those projects and submit them by the end of the week so I do not have to take off points for lateness. That would be awesome. Also, getting those off your plates is going to make it a lot easier uh, to do Project 3. And when I say easier, uh, it's more to say that you'll have more time in which to do Project 3. Project 3, which is a reflective essay where we'll, we will be reflecting on our own personal experiences um, over the semester. It's really straightforward. It's really simple. It's really easy. The hardest part is finding the time in which to sit down and actually write what needs to be written. Um, so that really, for me, is the hardest part of it. If you can schedule the three, four, five hours that you're going to need to write the pages, to edit, revise, and make sure everything looks great before submitting it, I would say it's going to take you about four or five hours to get through those four to six pages. But we'll, we'll look at the prompt in a moment, and then we'll look at some other resources <clears throat> As, as well. But in a nutshell, this is a reflective essay, which means that I'm asking you to reflect on what you've done, your accomplishments, your flaws, your failures, your successes, your hopes, your desires, your fears, all that stuff. I, I want to hear, excuse me, hear, I want to read about it. So it's a very personal thing, a reflective essay. If you wrote your journals, it's very similar. Your journals were reflective, meaning that you did something and then your journal was about how you felt about doing that thing. It was what you accomplished while doing that thing. So you do something and then you reflect on it. You stand in a place a few days after the fact, a month, three months after the fact and think, hmm, how was that? How did it go? Was it easy? Was it hard? What was easy about it? What was hard about it? Um, did I have a good time? Did I not have a good time? How could I have had a better time? What was the best part of it? What was the worst part of it? And these really straightforward questions are, are what I'm asking you to think about and address in, in detail, right? Because it's easy for us, and we'll look at some of the questions, but it's really easy to say, what was your biggest strength this semester? My biggest strength was writing my second paper, period, end of story. It's not going to give me a lot of insight it's not going to help you reflect, and it's definitely not going to get you to the page limit that we're talking about. So let me transition to that, right? So here we go in three. No, two, one. Ah, sorry. Project three, <coughs> course reflection. I want it to be four to six pages. Um, remember, your header, heading, does not count as writing. A work cited does not count as writing. But don't worry, because there's no work cited in this paper. But we'll get into that in a second as I read it. So it's due by the end of the semester, which for us is going to be December 18th. I think the CSI semester ends maybe a day or two after the fact. But I'm asking for you to have all your stuff, and, and this goes across the board for anything outstanding, revisions, whatever the case, is due by 11.59 p.m. on December 18th. I've shut off, um, I've shut off uploading after that time and I'm not going to be reading stuff via my email because the school wants everything submitted this way so I got to do it that way so you got time four to six pages due by the end of the semester if you get it done beforehand you can be done beforehand yeah okay so 
For the third and final project, I am asking you to write a reflective essay in which you write about your insights, successes, frustrations, and future goals. Beyond getting you to write the project's goals, uh, beyond, excuse me, beyond getting you to write the project's goal is to have you think about what you've done, what you've learned, and how you can best move forward with the rest of your coursework. To a large degree, this project is very similar to your journal assignments in that you are writing about yourself and your experiences, the good and the bad. You do not need to do new research. You do not need to have a thesis statement. You do not need to have a works cited page. Um, even if you're going to throw in a quote there, which I'm not really sure why you would do that, but you don't need a works cited page. Um, it should be written in standard English with paragraphs, but it doesn't need to have a works cited or citations. Um, please use I and me as much as you possibly want to. I mean, don't go I, 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 but like, you know, <clears throat> within reason, right? Um, you do need to write formal paragraphs. If you could have a topic sentence, that'd be radical. If you could have your examples in the middle, that'd be awesome. Um, I would like for you to revise and edit your work, meaning please don't sit down Saturday or whatever, the seven, uh, December 17th, and write this in one hour, not reread it and look at it. I'm, I'm, it's not a difficult paper, so you can most likely get through your first draft relatively smoothly without having to outline or plan too much, um, and then take two or three days and then come back and reread it and, and just try and make sure that it, it reads well, all right? So, um... Your journals could be a bit less structured than this, but I, I want yours to have that sort of logical flow to each paragraph. Um, I want to be able to follow your ideas easily, so please keep each paragraph focused. Consider using the below questions as a guide for paragraphs and what to write about. Um, there's 11 questions. Some of them are two-parters. Some of them might even be three-parters. Some of them are three-parters. You do not have to answer all of them. You do not have to answer them all consecutively. Um, you can mix and match, say one and four in your opinion go together, or five and eight go together, whatever the case might be. So I'm not gonna read all of these because it's a lot, so I'm just gonna pick one, read it, and kind of explain what I would do with it, um, and then you'll be able to go with the rest. Um, so let's just go with question one, very random, right? Uh, what were your expectations and fears about going to college online this semester? What about next semester? Well, I'm not going to school as a student, so I'll, I'll talk about my own experience as a professor. Um, I was nervous because this was the first full semester that I was doing an online course, and um, I was nervous about how I was going to be able to successfully get through it. I was worried about how I was going to interact with everybody. So. I was nervous, but my expectations were to that I was going to be successful, that I had the foundational knowledge of teaching and online resources to get me to do a good job, but that through my dedication and my desire to do better, that I would do an even better job because I would do the work necessary to learn Blackboard even better and get better resources and film better videos and so on and so forth. So. I was nervous, but my expectations were that it might be a slightly rocky start, but that I was going to really kill it by the end of the semester. I am very excited about next semester because I'm teaching another 151 section, and having gone through this with you guys and gals, it, it gave me a very strong foundation. So I'm really um, excited, um, at, at, well, as much as excited as somebody can be considering considering COVID to shut down school uh, can be for next semester. So notice, I, I don't have a word count, but that, was, that had to have been at least 100 words or something like that. I gave you a few sentences where I, I really try to get into exactly what I was thinking, exactly what I was feeling, and not even just what, but the, the whys associated with it. Your ability to not just say what, but to also say why, is gonna guarantee that you hit the four to six page mark because if you were to write two to three sentences for each question, you're not gonna to get to where you need to be. You need to be able to elaborate to really in-depth discuss and think about and write about what I'm asking you. Um, 
if you feel the need to add on any extra information or ideas um, feel f that you would like to reflect on that you think I might have missed, feel free to do so. Um, I No harm, no foul if you answer or add an additional question. Actually, if you could add another one, probably even more credit because you're really thinking hard about what you want to say. And I really appreciate stuff like that. So, this is your third project. A lot of I, a lot of me, a lot of thinking about the entirety of the semesters, like as you can notice with question one, right, the general one starting off about um, your expectations of the semester and as we move on, um, if I, for instance, we have a little bit about project one, it's like what was something interesting you found, what was something you found interesting from the first half of the semester when we were talking about fake news, uh, is there anything you found interesting or that you will carry with you moving forward, so I'm asking you to think about your expectations about class, about how class went, about what we discussed in class, about what you learned in class, about what you've read, about what you watched. So it's, it really is a, um, <coughs> a reflection, excuse me, <coughs> a reflection on the entirety of your time um, in this course in particular. So uh, you may have to look at some of your notes, you may have to reread some stuff to, to refresh your mind, but if you take your time on this, and again, I think four to five hours with revisions, with edits, is going to be more than enough time for you to write this and do a really, really kick-butt job with it. Again, like it's, it's a relatively straightforward assignment. Um, there's really no right or wrong answers. There's just those of you who won't write enough. There's those of you who rush through it. There's those of you who who won't edit it, there's those of you who will be very general, there are those of you who won't put a lot of energy, heart, and mind into it. You're just going to get it done. Um, and, and typically, if that's the route, um, it's going to show. Um, if you put the energy and effort into it, it will go relatively quickly, and it will um, most likely, for most of you, be a pretty easy A. Um, I'm not guaranteeing an A again, right? I said there's a lot of factors that are going to go into it, but out of assignment one, assignment two, and journals, I personally believe this assignment is the easiest of our, our four assignments for the semester. So time is important, so let's get to work. So with that, um, that's project three. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, please feel free to talk to me. I have a section on our Blackboard for information on Reflective essays. Um, I am going to be posting some stuff. So for instance uh, I'm gonna post the link to this YouTube video on uh, How to write reflective essays. Sage Publishing does a lot of academic stuff. Um, I'm also going to be posting a link to This website as well um, Oxbridge essays um, It's kind of like a textbook chapter on reflective essays it's relatively short, but I think it gives some interesting information um, for those of you who might want a little bit more context or definition of what a reflective essay is. And I'll have some more stuff throughout the week um, and weeks as we really finish up Project 2 in journals and move uh, solely into this project. So if I don't speak to you before uh, Thanksgiving, which for most of you I probably won't have a really great Thanksgiving, um, however great that can be. Uh, try and eat something yummy and take a nap on the couch or wherever you like to take naps. All right, so let me just say to Professor Smith again, guys uh, and gals, I'll, I'll be talking to you soon. There'll be a lot, there'll be more videos for the semester and um, we're almost done. We are really, really close to being done. We have about two more weeks of discussions and that's that. I think actually maybe even one more week of discussions because we didn't do anything. We'll figure out. We'll do. We'll have our discussion next week. Don't 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 worry about that. Don't be sad. Until we talk again. Have a good one, everybody.